released by Activision for the Atari 2600 in 1981. A mad bomber on the top portion of the screen will drop a series of bombs down below while shifting from side to side. You control a stack of buckets across the screen to catch the bombs. At first, one point is awarded for each bomb caught, but that number increases as the game goes on. The object is to not let any bombs hit the ground. If one does, all the bombs on the screen blow up and you'll lose a bucket from the bottom stack. Each bucket represents a life, so it's actually harder to catch the bombs after each life you lose. After the guy drops a certain number of bombs, the game stops and you can start the next round by pressing the button, where the bombs are dropped faster, but the point totals for each bomb you catch increases as well. If you reach a thousand points and you've lost one of your buckets, you'll get an extra one, but you can't have any more than three. A little novelty touch-up is the expressions on the bomber's face. You'll be frowning while dropping the bombs and when you catch them, but once a bomb hits the ground and blows up, he's all smiles. An easter egg of sorts can be found if you reach 10,000 points. His expression will change to a surprised look. I've never quite gotten there yet though. This is also one of those games that's used with the paddle controller, turning the wheel to control the speed of the buckets. If you play this game on the Atari Anthology Collection or on an emulator with a controller, the controls just don't feel right. You won't get the right experience out of it. They're perfect and much more fluid with the paddle. Somehow they couldn't figure out how to get it right with the regular controller, but it's still fun. In fact, it's more than just fun. It's one of the most fun games on the entire console. And there's really nothing more to it than what you see here. It's just catching bombs. There are no other screens, and the gameplay doesn't change much, but the fun factor level is high, and it's addicting as all hell. This has a lot to do with the speed and intensity of the game, but it also contains elements of a lost art. Simplicity. Kaboom is just a great time. Whether it's a battle to beat your high score, or a battle with a friend in an alternating two-player mode, it's a blast. Pun intended. If you have an Atari 2600 and a set of paddle controllers, and you haven't played this game yet, then shame on you. Play it, I guarantee you'll be hooked. Kaboom, kaboom, ah.